Hey and welcome to Sekiro the Ultimate Guide. Now if this is your first time watching any of these videos then I'd ask for a minute or so of your time just so I can explain how to use this guide and what it's about. Essentially this guide is entirely complete and it will help you get a full platinum for Sekiro. It covers all NPC quests that are relevant, all items, a best path through the game and also specifically strategies to get you through the game with the path of least resistance. Remember that this guide is supposed to be used as a full guide but you, could, you can use it for specific areas if you need to but if you're confused about how you know we are at a certain point or doing a certain thing, chances are the answer is in a previous episode. When it comes to boss battles, we really only show you the easiest method that we could find based on our perspective. If you want to fight the boss differently, it's up to you in this case to find a different and harder strategy. Now, if you have a good tip or have a question, leave them in the comments and I'll add them to a pinned post. That way this guide can constantly get better or more efficient. So if you have a question, check the pinned post first. If you do have a tip, please leave a timestamp so I can find the bit that you're talking about. Also, please bear in mind that this guide is taking me literally hundreds of hours to make, so if you enjoyed the video, the least you could do is give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, perhaps give us a sub! And if you really, really enjoyed it, you can support the channel on our Patreon if you're feeling generous, or perhaps sub to us on our Twitch, that's another good option. Now on to the guide. Hey guys, and welcome to Sekiro the Ultimate Guide, and today it is the Gun Fort, and we are going to annihilate the Gun Fort. You thought the Gun Fort was hard? Forget everything you thought you knew about the Gun Fort, because you don't know fucking anything about the Gun Fort. I know everything about the Gun Fort. We've not even got guns. It's just a <laughs> fort. Barely. <laughs> so, we're going to Sunken Valley. We've already came here uh, after Ashina Castle. We've already gotten the Gourd Seed and the Prayer Bead. So we're just kind of going on past the Gourd Seed side of things. Uh, these guys should be even easier than they were to begin with because you'll have upgraded your attack by this point. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to say up until the They're gun for. <laughs> yeah, right. But the reason why we didn't do any more from this part is because the boss was pretty difficult. But now you should be suitably tanky enough because the the boss can like one shot you if you're like not careful. But at this point, you should be good. And there's also a little trick to make things a lot easier, which. I think a few of you are going to definitely appreciate, honestly. <laughs> so, hugging this wall around. Uh, there's also like a few guards outside here, but uh, you can actually just completely avoid them. And one of them's like one of the cannon guys, and they're just a pain in the arse. So, what you actually just need to do is just jump to the far left here, and then you just crouch down, and then they, they just can't see you. See, when I figured this out, I was like, fuck yes, hallelujah. Some snipers? 20 minutes took me to figure that one out. So Right, but the guys in the gun fort can see you from across the fucking ravine. Right, so it didn't make any fucking sense to me, but... With snow, a blizzard going on in between, like, perfect 2020 vision in the snow. It's fucked up. So there's, like, this guy here that you can talk to that just doesn't do anything. Just, again... He just dies. <laughs> That's all he's so like, if, so, like, I guess don't talk to him, or otherwise he'll die. It's literally it. He's just there to die. God, I envy him so much. <laughs> so, uh, something, something, they'll get, like, alerted, but there's no more items over there. Right, so, you want to get prepared. Equip Mist Raven, I'm joking. Never equip that. Equip Sabi Maru, and be prepared to get shot at. So now, inexplicably, these guys will see you from a million miles away. Uh, inexplicably, your body has the ability to hold itself together during these grapples, but... Okay, so... You might think that you can't backstab this guy, but you can. No, I know you can. Oh, okay, so you knew that. Okay, so you know you knew that half of it, right? But a lot of people probably would be like, well, you, you can backstab this guy. Well, yeah, okay, so you just run past him, because he, I guess he is ultimately optional You can't well. get up here. <laughs> so then you run onto the bridge, and then, you know, zig and zag, until his health bar goes away, and then that way you know that he's like, he'll be like alerted or whatever, but... He's reset. Yeah. So now what you need to do is wait for his position to reset, and this can be a pain in the ass. So, like, God, it's actually so irritating sometimes. But wait for him to turn away, and then you can get the backstab on him. But then sometimes it won't work, so don't get hindered. You absolutely can do it. It's just one of those things where it's like, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. And it's a pain in the ass when it doesn't, I know. But you can use like a ceramic shard to like kind of move him a little bit, but ultimately it's... Like, sometimes he moves, sometimes he won't, do you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things. It's, it's, re it's really very irritating. And, um... You shall suffer like I have suffered. 
but you'll suffer far less than if you were like coming here, you've, you're just in your first playthrough of the game or whatever. Nah. Okay, squeak up right up nice and close to him and then get seen. It's so irritating because sometimes he just steps a little bit further ahead, sometimes he doesn't. But I wanted to just keep it in. Like, I could have edited that bit out, right, and just like lined it up so you never notice. But I just want to show you that, like, if you fuck it up, don't worry. It's not like you fucked up or it's not like it can't be done. This is just something that can happen. And, um, you know, you just need to, like, kind of keep trying at it. Because ultimately, it's still easier than having to fight him. So just bear that in mind. That's half the fight in one goal. Yeah. Always gonna be easier, yeah. So unbelievably it worked that time. I I I think oh god. So this would have been on my So right, okay. So use Sabi Maru, poison him, it like fills up half his posture meter and then it doesn't go down when he's poisoned, and then you just whap out the axe and you go to fucking town on him. I thought there was like gonna be some like Nuanced mondo up. mondo cheese to this, like oh I'm gonna bug out his AI and then I can just stand in front of him and hit R1. Now be careful because he can still kill you. And I was very sloppy here because I just like at this point I'm pretty sure it was like five in the morning and I wanted him dead just so I could go to bed. But like it's it's fine though because because you've like hacked off half his health or whatever and you still have all your heals you're like totally fine. You can just you can just wail into him. It's no bother. You just need to watch out for the unblockable. But there you go, as you can see. Absolutely, absolutely doable. Mm. It's not bad. So take the scrap. And uh, there's a few items down here. Now you need to be careful because again, all these like eagle eyed, like fucking, what's his face? Uh, what's the guy from Metal Gear Solid, the old guy? The end? I don't think it's the end. But that, there's, there's just like a whole bunch of them and he's got his fucking moes and nagging and shit. Trying to kill you. So just be careful, because I'm like, it was a playthrough where I got shot, like, in midair and just straight up died. Mm -hmm. But we're going like, at this point, you might just want to, like, go back to the idol. And reset aggro. Because it is what it is, like, you'll get your heals back and stuff, and it means you're, like, in a good position. And again, the boss isn't there, so you can just, like, just run past. It's, it's fine. It's still somehow sort of, I hate the grapples in this game so much sometimes. It makes absolutely no sense. I'd love to see, like, Someone that's just like, I'm going to try it out, and then they just die immediately. Oh, they would die immediately. Surely the G-Force just tears your body apart. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> got a big spring in his wrist. That's what it is. Suspension I mean, in Imperial the... Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, we, uh, you jump over that little gap. If you fall down it, you actually fall in like a, a below bit, but it doesn't really change anything. Yeah, you just end up here. It's Maybe slightly safer? I don't know. So, wait for the aggro to, like, wear off. Just make sure there isn't someone they can, like, see or whatever. Because, like, a guy, like, shooting down. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Who, who's seeing me? So, yeah. He... that guy way over by the boss. Yeah. Although, oddly enough, once he stops seeing you, he then won't continue to see you. It's just so stupid because these guys all see you from the other side. So He dumb. probably turned around. So, you go up on this ledge. Ledge kill him. Easy peasy. There's a lot of that in the gun fort. Yeah, there's quite there is quite a lot of this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so then we take the scrap and then we can like continue on. There's another guy that we in fact there's literally there is a lot of that. <laughs> so we ledge grab this guy. And then we continue repelling around the edge. Honestly though, I think that like this particular route. Um, once it's like kind of laid out to you, it's just kind of obviously like you go, wow, the gun fort's actually it's just kind of easy now, isn't it? So you repel here, and that lets you repel into this one, because it does kind of look like you're just repelling into nothing, but you're, you're not. So you need to be careful. This guy can like sometimes aggro, yeah. and it can be a total pain in the dick. I don't know what triggers his aggro though, because sometimes he will and sometimes he won't, and, it's, and that's just is what it is. But if you're lucky enough that he doesn't aggro, you can also just quit out, come back in to reset his aggro. But you really can't be fucked fighting those guys. They're a total pain in the ass. Now, again comes one of these areas where initially it's like, yes, you can stealth it, but is your time worth it? And the answer is always no. So you just want to get rid of this guy immediately, and then we're going to go and uh, mop up some of the, 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 the rest of the items in the area. Now, you'll notice that there's like big kind of like 
cow pats, those things there, those little mounds with the stones. Now, those will make a noise if you go over them. And then all the enemies will turn around and start shooting at you. So just be careful to avoid them. And this is like the route that you take. So you can just like come up to this part. You get rid of that guy in the process. And then you kind of just jump, jump along here, I suppose. So before you get to this part, right? You can like move close, jump forward, and then re like... Alright, so you, you can move close and avoid them. And then from this part, jump forward and rep repel up. And backstab this guy, naturally. He just blended in with the environment there. I know. I didn't see him at all. Uh, and then there's this guy here that you just yeah. jump and kill. And then that's it for all the guys on this like outer perimeter. Perimeter secured. Yeah, I just don't like the gun for it, that's all. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you, honestly. It's a very uninteresting, boring area. And there's not anything in it particularly difficult, other than like the guy with the big cannon, maybe? I mean, it's not difficult if you know what you're doing. Now, there's two guys with the big cannon coming up, right? And again, like, if you are willing to like, fuck about with ceramic shards and stuff, you can eventually kill both of them stealthy. Or, right, because you have an axe, you kill one of them stealthy and then fucking go to town on the other one. Which is what I would suggest, because it's just the quicker, yeah. easier method. So. There's some items in here. This guy can like vaguely see you, right? But what you do is you come in from this way. You just run up, backstab the one that's got his back turned, and then it's like, come at me. Because like trying to kill this last one, like a lot of the times the stealth methods are like you kill everybody else and there's like one guy that you kind of vaguely have to fight. Yeah. Like I, I really don't think that they intended that you could like stealth this guy. You also like can't like poison them to death. I thought you could and I was like, Maybe this is like the key, and it's like, nah, the axe is always the key. It's always the axe. Yeah. It's, it seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah. And yellow gunpowder is quite. You don't even. Like, when was the last time I even used firecrackers, by the way? Um, What's that? I've only seen the axe. There's other tools in Sekiro? Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. I know there's the axe, and I thought the shuriken was like a consumable. <laughs> I guess the shuriken's useful, yeah. So, we can rest here. Gun fort bonfire. Which one's the gun boat? That, yeah, that one is gun fort. Can't remember if it was that one or the one before it. So, there's another one of those, like, bosses with the arms and shit. So, again, just mash L1 Whoa. until we get the, um... See, is he a centipede? Or is he a giraffe? I don't think he's either of them, I'm honest. His, his name says both, but his body says neither. <laughs> <laughs> Long arms though, he's definitely got them. <laughs> so again, we're just like, you know, uh, was it? But stick to, like, stay the course, you can't like backstab this guy, or if you can, put it in the comments, that'd be insane, but yeah. Um, I think you could, can you go into this fight with Gatchin Sugar and maybe jump over his head? I think it's one of those things that just like automatically starts the boss fight. Yeah, maybe. But again, like it's not really an issue. You just mash L1 in time to his attacks, do the wee jump, and then you just continue on. It's really, it's, it's, pretty, it's very achievable, very doable. All right, if this fight is just spamming L1, so if you can't do this, then good luck with the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> that was weird. Um, I think this might be, like, I died. This guy, like, again, five in the morning vibes, but he kept fucking me up somehow, and I'm like, how is this happening? I was just going insane. So this is, like, the better run of it, because the other one was absolutely disgraceful. You're probably just blocking and not deflecting, so he broke your guard and shit. Whomst knows. Whomst indeed. So that's him taken care of. Very easy. There we go. It's transition to the other footage of when I finally killed the guy, and I was like, fuck yeah! So there's another, uh, we just picked up another shinobi tool there, and this one's like, annoyingly this tool is way good for Senpu Temple, because you can, essentially the fan flips enemies around, like to face the other way so you can backstab them, and that's particularly good against the monks at the temple, but ultimately it is what it is, this is still the more efficient way of going through the game. You can also spirit away the friendly taro guy, later on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. It sends him to the uh, the divine child. Um, 
I don't, I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't, we don't do that anymore. It's just some extra dialogue. I think that's pretty much all you get out of it. But you so can spirit him away dialogue. and he goes into the same place as the uh, folding screen monkeys. Yeah. Um, so And he, like, serves that child. There's an amount of... Um, that's his, like, good ending, but his good yeah. ending, you don't get anything, so fuck him. The good ending is serving a child. And just beat the child and become Dragon God himself. So, like, the child can defend them. <laughs> so, there's, like, a number of, like... Uh, salamanders or whatever on the wall just make sure you get rid of them because they're just a pain in the ass and then you can just kill these other um presumably short centipede shorter arm, armed yeah. centipede the giraffe guys yeah short armed giraffe and i th pretty sure that's it for this part we move on there's like a another spirit balloon or whatever coming along this way but that's pretty much it as you can see the gun fort's actually pretty straightforward. I remember when we came here, I'm just, just I'm just sweating it, just like, I hate this area so much. But it's actually, it's not, it's not really an issue. It's, it's nothing's not an issue. An issue. There's, just, there's three things in this game that's an issue. I just dislike this one. And that is it. There's like another little extra bit, I can't remember what it is that we do. I think it's probably just general upgrading and shit. But now we're gonna travel back to the temple. I'll tell you what part of the game I hate, the big poison swamp at the bottom with all the fucking white monkeys. I hate that area. Yeah, actually, yeah, I really do dislike that part. It's, it's on the way down to the second snake or something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. God, I hate that fucking area. So, I think now we might upgrade some things, something like no, that. I guess the we'll fan. See. That is it, that's We it. need a screwdriver. We do need a screwdriver. That's it, Sculpture. You're a main character again. <laughs> this you in the credits for this episode of The Guide. Maybe we are upgrading? I can't remember if we upgraded uh, you'll be upgrading the fan so you can upgrade some other... No? I guess not. Or maybe I, I do go in and take some money. Again, just yeah. kind of do what we do. And in this case, we are burning a, a coin purse. But again, you might just have the thousand gold. You might not need to, like, dig into your... Um, you oh, you're upgrading the fan so you can get the firecracker upgrade. That's what it was. Right, so the long spark is useful for Genichiro, so that's what it is. Um, so we're just going to get the long spark because that's, like, a much better... Um, firecracker. Yeah. And that is it for this part. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, it was helpful. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. And the next part we are going to is... Uh, I guess it's probably Genichiro next part, actually. So, I guess Judging we'll see by that. where you went to, I'd hope so. Yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you later.